2008, we will be developing and releasing the National Blueprint for America, which is actually going to be a mosaic, a compilation of all of the local blueprint projects, and tying those together with themes and ideas and strategies that the entire country can then consider as an alternative for the next 150 years. Colorado Springs is really at a tipping point right now, to the point where we're at a half a million. All of a sudden, the major developers start seeing the real potential in, in what can happen downtown. No one group can understand what the community really envisions for the future, how they would like to really see that occur. The downtown is embraced as the heart and soul of the community. Everybody wants to have a say. It is, after all, a unique animal. Downtowns are owned by everybody, not just private sector, not just public sector. I mean, truly, the community has ownership in a lot of aspects. One of the great challenges for us is how do you draw together all of the people who make up the fabric of downtown and uh, develop a common purpose and a common vision? The first day is basically brainstorming, you know, where we do solicit any ideas. The Shrench is the great opportunity to bring the stakeholders and the citizens interested in the downtown together and mix them with the design community so that uh, we can put those visions that people have for the downtown, for the future of the downtown, uh, we can uh, delineate them graphically. It's really going to set the stage for the future of the downtown growth. There were certain conflicts that were identified. Um, at one group we had uh, that uh, the grid is great, but we also had the perspective that no streets should be straight. Getting to America the Beautiful Park. Um, the first group talked a lot about how hard it is to get there by car. Differing opinions about keeping up major view corridors to the mountains. The categorization of alleys that we really could not treat every alley the same. We probably needed to sort of come up with a subgrouping of alleyways. Disagreement on whether the Santa Fe Depot is relevant to the downtown or not. Some people said yes, some people said no. The motivation for putting in our time to have a beautiful place to live is the motivation that we all feel when we own something, when we are part of something. In the second day, we basically take those ideas and form them as designers, you know, using our creative skills, to synthesize some options in a number of topic areas that we've established based on the needs for downtown. Well, change is always a challenge. There's a lot of people that have a natural, maybe not necessarily resistance, but certainly uh, want to know how this change is going to affect them. I look at it as an opportunity for investors and an opportunity to bring people to the downtown and enjoy the downtown in ways that maybe haven't existed in the past. Challenges have been to simply channel the energy. We have had great attendance and great participation. These are the people who signed up to say, we care about what downtown looks like. Help us figure that out. And the professionals have come along to structure that energy and that passion and those desires for a physical form into something that is going to be really actually practical and useful. The AIA chapter came up with this Google Earth and SketchUp modeling program. People were thrilled. I mean, this is exciting, and you can just hear oohs and ahs in the room anytime this model is put in front of people and they walk us through how it can work and how we can all use it ultimately. It is just absolutely thrilling. SketchUp is a 3D design and visualization tool. It was designed for architects, engineers, uh, designers of all types to help them communicate their design ideas in the early end of the design process. So sort of prior to design development, construction, documentation, things like that. One of the organizing principles behind the charrette, we are one of the innovators using this process, including Google and SketchUp, to the point where we're probably the first community to really use those digital tools as a very powerful urban design tool. What we actually found on the third day, we were going to make some final recommendations. This is the plan, you know, but we really found that it's going to be more important to put the ideas out to the community without really saying that this idea comes from the experts, you know, that, that it's more 
These are ideas that are food for thought that we'd like to get people more engaged in. The ideas that come out of the charrette ultimately will work their way into the downtown action plan, which is really sets, it's the master plan for the downtown. One of the key expectations out of this particular project, the Colorado Spring, is that how it can serve as a model for other communities to learn from it, best practices, civic engagement, um, interaction, and just the tools and the resources that the local community has used to be able to implement the project. The AIA project and the Imagine Downtown project are doing, I think, a splendid job of taking professional eyes and marrying that with a layperson's point of view. There's just no question in my mind that the best way of growing is to do exactly what we're doing with a broad-based community input, identifying uh, goals and objectives for the future, and bringing those visions to life through a charrette like this. Being able to provide more visible information to the general public to make sure that they're confident that we're doing the right thing and developing their community, it's just a huge tool. It is going to make the job of planners be that much more effective and, and architects can be absolutely better community servants. What we're really talking about is what will provide you joy, what will, what will captivate and say this is the place that instills in people the heart of, of what we consider to be our community.